Hey guys, what's going on friends and family? My name is Skylant and today we're going to be talking about the best games to stream and right, I'm going to use Twitch as the main example because I think it's the easiest and most clear way to show off what I'm trying to say. Uh, but you, this goes for pretty much any site at all, period, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Um, there's going to be a little bit of differentiation, like for YouTube, if you have lots of subscribers, then maybe to an extent it kind of almost doesn't matter. Um, but there's going to be some things that are, are still going to, you know, work with that as well. But we're mainly going to be looking at Twitch because that is the pretty much biggest and best uh, streaming service, at least here in the Western Hemisphere. So let's go ahead and look around. Uh, I think a lot of people would really assume that uh, maybe, you know, the top 10 best games to uh, stream on Twitch would be literally counting down from right here. You know, the games people are watching now. The most viewed, right? League of Legends would be the best. And if you don't play League, then Hearthstone. If you don't play Hearthstone, then Dota, and so on and so forth. Uh, down 10 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What the heck is even this game? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, you, you would think that uh, if you're new to streaming if you, and you want to try streaming, you might try League of Legends or something. Counter-Strike uh, H1Z1. Maybe so, maybe not. Um, but I think, I think in my opinion, and it is more of an opinion, it just based off of my personal experience and my schema, my knowledge, my prior knowledge here, I'm going to say, no, it's, it's actually none of these games. Now, there's going to be some differences. Okay, so Last Guardian here, if you happen to be somebody who got it like the day before um, or you got it day one and maybe you've been sending out tweets and you and you are maybe prolific, maybe you have a lot of uh, YouTube subscribers and maybe for some reason you have a presence uh, with The Last Guardian day one and you can jump right on it, then you absolutely maybe can make that work. Um, but that's kind of before it's on the front page. It's like you make it get to the front page yourself. So that... That actually doesn't always work. Now, I purchased Dark Souls 3, played it day one, everything, and I had zero viewers, basically, for the entirety. I did an entire Let's Play, and I had no viewers. Um, so it didn't quite work. But you know what game I did have viewers on, on day one? It was actually a lesser known game, a lesser hyped game, called Clash Royale. Actually, if I scroll, oh, Overcooked, I actually just bought that game. I should probably stream that. Um, yeah, I, I cl cl here we go, Clash Royale. Look at this. At 1,600 viewers, Clash Royale is actually pretty, pretty good. I mean, if you're a new streamer, you'd be lucky to get six viewers. You're, you'd be lucky to get above 10. 35 viewers is actually really decent. At 35 viewers every single day, you're going to get some decent donations. I mean, obviously, you're not going to, you know, you might not even be a Twitch partner, but the donations, you know, that that's really where you're going to be able to afford to stream consistently. And your viewers know that they love you. They watch you every day and you're good to go. So honestly, 35 viewers ain't bad. Most people have around, you know, there. Um, and then you have like these people who have um, a thousand or, five, you know, hundreds of viewers, which is pretty good. And since there's so few people streaming this game, like, look at this, there's only, like, one little page here. So few people streaming this game that whenever this guy gets off, those, like, 500 viewers are going to go to this guy. And then, you know, they're going to trickle down through here, and it's going to be really easy to get viewers. Especially if you have a webcam, and especially if, you know, your screen actually looks good. This guy, the screen doesn't, this doesn't look good. Uh, not at all. Now, this screen, probably a little bit more professional. Um, this screen, maybe a little bit better. You know, it gets better and better as we go up. This looks really, really good. So I would click on this because, I don't know, this... It just, it just seems really good looking, you know, I got the webcam and everything, got the icons, it just, it looks sexy, man, like, especially this, this looks really good, so, you really want this, like, chat interaction on the stream here, um, you really want this webcam, and you just want, you just want it to look really good, you want your stream to look really good, um, while you're streaming, of course, so, like, whenever there's the snapshot, people can clickety-clack it, and boom, good to go, um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna go for games that are, there's not many people streaming them, but there are a lot of viewers, um, but, you know, you don't want it to be flooded, okay? So probably games, maybe potentially like RuneScape. I know there's a lot of people that have a living streaming RuneScape, and people kind of hardcore follow there. Um, so right here, RuneScape, you can see this right here. We only have a few people that have hundreds of viewers, and then there's, I mean, there's a lot more people streaming, though. That is true. But not too much more, not too much more. So if you can just break through this little gap here, maybe get five viewers, like look at five viewers all the way up here, all the way up here. So if you can have a really good stream and make it look sexier than anybody else's, you could jump up pretty high. But then again, RuneScape is a little bit more popular. Um, So I'm going to say definitely aim around the 5,000 view mark. Now, I'm not saying you can't stream King of the Kill because King of the Kill is fun. It is really fun to stream. And in fact, I had had good viewership. But I had way more viewership with games like um, Smite, uh, of course, Clash Royale. Um, and oh, yeah, if you can get into like a new MMO, like, you know, the alphas and betas, that's you're going to be good to go. Um, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Fighting games, not so much. People like like very, very multiplayer games. 
So a lot of, oh my God, somebody's streaming Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Wow, that's a blast from the past. Um, Blade and Soul used to be really big, not so much now, but you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, people like games that they can play with you as potentially. So Paladins, um, I had a lot of viewers on Paladins. Um, let's see, I think I averaged like 30 viewers or something on Paladins, it's pretty good. So there's not many people streaming here. It looks like there's one big guy, okay? So um, if you're a brand new streamer, dude, 35 viewers is a lot. That's almost probably certainly like 35 new followers. That's pretty big, dude. I, I mean, it, it seems small, especially compared to the YouTube space of subscribers and how views, you know, AdSense and everything. But you have to remember, people who watch streams, they become your friends. They're, they are your friends and family. They do donate to you. And if you consistently stream and if you make it your, you know, your actual job and you and you put the work into it and the love and the passion and you play with your followers, um, you know, they'll, they'll reward you. They will. I'm not saying it's all about money or anything, but if you want viewers, you want followers and you want to continue to be able to pursue this you know, work, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta claw every single one of those viewers and followers. And you're going to do that by going into these niches and these nooks. So a game like Paladins would be really good, especially if you are kind of good. Um, you know, I actually had a lot of people playing Destiny with me. Destiny seemed pretty okay, though. Um, I, let's see how many, yeah, around 4,000 viewers right now. That's pretty okay. Let's see. Are there a lot of people streaming it? Uh, there are a lot of people streaming it probably because they're just streaming from their console. Um, but you potentially could break into this, uh, but then again, you have to kind of have some momentum with that. Maybe send out some tweets, maybe you probably have some followers already. You gotta have some momentum to break through some games. So you see this, that some games like RuneScape and Destiny, they have a lot of people streaming in them, but let's see, I bet Overcooked probably only has, look, one streamer. So right now would be the absolute best time to jump onto Overcooked. Just do it and I promise you, you will get probably thousands of views. In fact, I'm a little bit tempted, but I don't really do Twitch. So that would be, you know, that's the prime time. That is the absolute prime time. So right now, jump on Overcooked. I mean, it's going to be over by the time this is uploaded. Um, Let's see, 4,000, Planet Coaster. Do we have a lot of streams on Planet Coaster? It actually seems like we have a lot of streams, but um, only one is really, really big. So now could potentially be a good time. Now you see there's actually one uh, tip here. You see a lot of people saying French. Okay, this is their language, FR for French. Because right now, I, th I guess is. France's prime time? I don't actually know the time zones because I'm a dumb American. All I know is that it's uh, 10 a.m. where I am. Uh, so maybe if somebody's English speaking, maybe now would be a good time to make a stream and put EN. Okay, so yeah, now would be a pretty neat time to probably play some Planet Coaster. So games I'm going to say to stay away from, even though you probably love them. Uh, I know I consistently played Overwatch and even when I was in the beta, I streamed it and nobody actually really watched me. Um, there was just so much competition with people that at the time were just bigger and better. So you have yeah a little bit more people having bigger views and it just kind of slowly trickles down from here. Um, you can stream it. You can. It's just super hard to get noticed. The I think the only time you could really break into Overwatch is if you had much, much more, men, more momentum because there's more people and there's more people with more views. Uh, and they, it's just it's just too hard to break into. So again, just to reiterate, games like Overcooked, less people streaming, but more views. Uh, so you're going to have to kind of weigh it. Now, I know games like Paladins, stuff like that, there's also less views and less people streaming. It's really debatable um, because you still kind of want to be higher ranked up here. Now, if you go to some different sites, they're ranked a little bit differently, but it's still going to be kind of a similar atmosphere. OK, um, so like on YouTube, I can kind of stream almost whatever I want. As long as it's what the subscribers want, I'm going to get lots of views. I, I understand that. I get it. Uh, and that's fun, I guess. Um, but Twitch is really the main streaming thing. OK, so and it's going to be kind of similar too. if I stream Paladins on YouTube, I do get more views. Um, if I stream Clash Royale, I probably would get more views too. And when I stream Overwatch, I really don't because there's tons of other people to watch on, you know, YouTube, tons of other streamers even on YouTube as well. Or if they want to watch a stream of Overwatch of hardcore competitive players, it's going to be on Twitch. It just is. So that's also what you got to think about. Even if you do stream on other sites, are other people going to come to that site to watch that type of gameplay or is it prolific on Twitch? So competitive players, they tend to stream on Twitch unless they're um, they maybe if they're Korean. I know that maybe Hitbox T is Hitbox big in Korea. I can't tell. I can't remember. Uh, anyways, there's other sites that are maybe a little bit more popular overseas. Let's see. I think uh, is Ark good to go? Is Ark a game that you would want to stream? Uh, there's actually a lot of people streaming Ark. Um, there's see, there's not that many views with Ark, but there's also a lot of people streaming. So, oh man, it keeps going and going. So maybe actually I think Ark might be a game to stay away from. It also tends to be 
very boring and hard to uh, kind of talk over the gameplay because it can't like the gameplay is very slow paced. So it might be better to play a game that's much faster and much more digestible, digestible like Clash Royale, you know, really quick, fast uh, gameplay. Let's see, you know, so is this for a new streamer, it's really easy to talk over it. I guess maybe a fighting game potentially, but unless you're actually good, uh, you know, it's kind of debatable. Yeah, so don't be afraid to stream mobile games, guys. Mobile games are pretty legit right now. Uh, fuck, I mean, San Andreas, I wouldn't doubt if some of these guys are playing on mobile devices, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you, you can stream mobile games. Like, mobile games are pretty popular. They can actually be competitive, too. And you can stream on a lot of your devices. They can stream automatically. Just make sure you're on, on Wi-Fi and have good Wi-Fi. So, yeah, absolutely, guys. Uh, check out, check out, you know, all the different stats and everything. Oh, Paragon's pretty hype right now, by the way, guys. L let's see, is there a lot of people stream? Ah, uh, there's a lot of people streaming because there's a new update. In fact, I'm actually going to be streaming that later today. Um, so, yeah, there... There is a new update, um, Paragon, I would say, to stream it, but, ah, you know, they got so much competition. Probably because everybody and their mother is streaming on PS4. So, that kind of sucks. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much my criteria. Uh, if, if you were gonna succeed on Twitch, I, I know there's a lot of you guys, you wanna start out on these big names, and you love them and stuff, but just don't. Gain a following, gain momentum, and then from there you can break into these other games. But what I'm gonna suggest is look around the 5,000 mark for views, and then look for less streamers, right? And that is going to be the secret. And yeah, this kind of sucks. Maybe you might need to spend some money. Maybe you don't have Minecraft, I don't know. Maybe you gotta buy Minecraft. Actually, I'm pretty sure a lot of people stream Minecraft. Okay, yeah, no, you, a lot. okay, not Minecraft. But maybe you might have to go buy a different game. Uh, Battlefield 1, potentially. Ah, it doesn't have that many viewers and it has a lot of streamers. See, another one to stay away from. Anyways, you might have to buy some games. Maybe not, maybe they'll be free to play. Um, Paladins is probably a good one to check out. Uh, Gwent, maybe potentially. Um, yeah, so check them out. Do do some do some homework, but hopefully I helped you out. Maybe a little bit of a cheat sheet I could make later on, but uh, hopefully this is, you know, a good little starter kit or whatever, you know, a little... I don't know. I don't know what this video is. It's just me talking, but uh, that's my thoughts and feelings. Now, if you have any more insights into what to stream and when to stream it and maybe different sites as well, because I only have ever streamed on Twitch and YouTube gaming. I've never tried any other site. So if you have any other insight into other sites, please let us know in the comments below. And uh, also, guys, you know, for this time, I'm not really going to complain about spam. If you want to share your stream um, as well as some insights and tips and tricks, then I'm fine with that. You can leave your Twitch channel in the comments below as long as you leave one little tip or, you know, a little tidbit about, uh, you know, your experience on these different platforms. I'm totally cool with that. Um, in fact, I welcome it. So anyways, thanks for watching. This was my experience. Um, oh, by the way, how much <laughs> the numbers I never actually called out the numbers. The most viewers I've ever had from Clash Royale was actually like my third day of streaming ever on Twitch and I had 365 um, congruent viewers like um so it was like all at once right because that's how Twitch tracks it all at once I had 365 people watching me so that was the most I've ever had and shortly after that I actually stopped uh, doing stuff on Twitch because I wanted to do stuff on YouTube only. Uh, but Twitch is pretty cool, uh, especially because of the donations. And did I get donations because of that in my couple days streaming? Yeah, actually I did. I made like $30 total in like a week. So, yeah, I mean, it took me like three years to make any sort of money on YouTube. So I'm just saying, guys, Twitch ain't so bad. It's uh, you got to get a really close connection with your followers. And you're going to do that by, like I said before and over and over reiterating. I know you guys say I talk in circles, but you got to go into the nooks and crannies and the niches of these these games and, you know, the, all, the gaming community as a whole. And uh, you'll make some friends and close relationships by doing that. OK, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you have fun with your streaming endeavors. And I'll see you in the next one.